Hi, my name is Justin Romsberg with PYI, and today we're going to take you through step-by-step -step instructions for compressing our Type B PSS shaft seal. Our Type B PSS shaft seals are sizes 4 inch and above, or 100 millimeter and above. Um, and the first step in compressing, after you've secured the bellow to the stern tube with the T-bolt clamps, and we've slid the rotor down the shaft until it's made contact with the carbon. We'll take a marker or something to add a mark on the shaft to show the neutral position. After you've marked the neutral position on the shaft, we'll back out the clamp pins. This will allow us to rotate the clamp uh, approximately 90 degrees to get the pins away from the pin holes. We'll put it back in contact with the rotor. And the next step will be to lock down the actual clamp bolts. After the clamp bolts are locked, we'll then start the compression process, retightening the pins. We'll alternate back and forth from one pin to the next. And this will start pushing the rotor down the shaft. After we've fully tightened the pin on each side, we have about a half inch of compression on the rotor. The next set step will be to temporarily secure the rotor in that position using the provided set screw and a 3 16 Allen wrench. We'll thread the screw through the hole indicated by the size of the rotor and material. This is the only hole that is threaded all the way to the shaft. Uh, the other is being partially threaded um, for other installation procedures. We'll thread this set screw and tightly secure it on the shaft. Again, this will temporarily hold the rotor in place, allowing us to now back off the clamp pins. We'll back the pin off until it's flush with the face of the clamp. And now we can loosen the clamp. The clamp bolts. After we've loosened the clamp, we'll then slide the clamp flush against the rotor again. We'll see we have about a half inch of compression from our neutral point. At that point, we'll lock the clamp onto the shaft again. And after we've secured the clamp to the shaft, we can now remove the set screw that was put in to temporarily hold the rotor in place. And we can leave that in there just off the shaft. And after we've removed that set screw, we'll now go through the process of tightening the pins again, which will add about a half inch of additional compression. After we've fully tightened the screws, uh, the pins through, we've moved it again about another half inch. So we're at one inch of total compression at this point. We'll go back to the set screw to temporarily lock the rotor in this position. Again, after we've tightened that, we can now back off the pins. After we've backed off the pins, we can loosen the clamp bolts. Slide the clamp again, 
continuing to go through this process. Um, we'll go through that process until we reach about one inch to inch and a quarter of total compression. After we've gone through the steps and reached one inch to inch and a quarter of uh, initial compression, the next step will be to loosen the clamp, back out the pins, and then we're going to rotate the clamp until it locks back into the pin holes. We'll then thread the pins into the holes of the actual rotor. And then re-secure the clamp to the shaft. After the clamp is secured to the shaft, we can then remove the temporary set screw. And this can actually be removed completely. At this point, the installation is complete with one inch to inch and a quarter of compression, which you can reference in the print instruction manual or on our compression guide on our website. Thanks for watching our PSS Type B compression video. If you have any questions, add in the comments section below. And if you like this sort of content, remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.